Hey everybody. Um, so I'm back just for an update on um, a video I shot a few weeks back about the, the Gable GRA 7350TC antenna. So I originally started out with a single counterpoise that was about a quarter wavelength on 40 meters and then I would kind of play with that to get my tune right. And it was kind of fiddly and I wasn't really enjoying it. It worked, but it, it wasn't great. Um, so what I did was I started playing with counterpoise lengths and I went from one counterpoise to two counterpoise to four counterpoises. I tried eight counterpoises. Eight worked really well, but it was kind of fiddly. It made a mess. I've kind of settled on four for performance to hassle ratio. Um, so what we've got here are four eight foot, uh, two and one half inch long counterpoises. Um, that equals about 40 meters, uh, quarter, I'm sorry, a quarter wavelength on 40 meters. Um, so I've got four of those. And right now I've got the antenna tuned up on 40 meters. And so I'm gonna try to make it so you can see this nano VNA here. And I can get it a little lower than this, but. All right, so I don't know if you can see the screen or not, but we are at about a 1.3 to one SWR and about 55 ohms, okay? Um, so what we'll do is I will go ahead and I'm gonna go from 40 and then I'm gonna to go to 30 and then I'm gonna to go to 20. So I'm gonna go down, I stop on 40 right now, I'll go to 30 and then I'll go to 20. And it'll tune all the other bands too, but I'm just gonna do those three just to show you how easy this is now. So I'm gonna go ahead and tune this antenna up so you can see how this works. So let me get you situated. Get this table so it's not gonna fall over on us. It's in my lawn, which is not super level, so maybe. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and change my stimulus on my nano VNA. So we're gonna go from 40 meters to 30 meters. So let me set my stimulus here. I had these saved, but for some reason I can't get to them. So we're gonna go start 10.100 and our stop 10.150. So we'll tune it up on 30 now. So you'll see this doesn't take a whole lot of doing. I do have to kind of get away from the antenna to get the uh, to get the uh, tune right. For some reason, let's try this again. Ten dot one hundred. Stop 10.150. There we go. We go a little bit. do this initially you can do the initial tune just by listening to it right you could tune it for maximum noise and then you could uh, you could tune it for maximum noise and then um, fine-tune it with a nano VNA or a rig, rig expert or something but I think that'll probably work so I could probably get a little lower but I'm not gonna fiddle with it too long this would be totally usable so let me grab you and bring you over and we'll take a look. I gotta get my top here so you can see this. So we're at 1.085 SWR and 46 and change ohms. All right, so that didn't take very long to tune up and you can see how low that SWR is. It looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and tune it on 20. So we were on 40 and we did 30. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do 20. And you'll see this should be just about as painless. And if I don't make any mistakes, it should happen even quicker. So, change our stimulus again. And I'm doing the general portion of the CW band, but you could do... This works just as well in the, uh, the single side band or the expert portions of the band. Expert, extra. I don't know why I just said expert, good lord. Losing my mind, it's been a long day. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and try to tune this up one more time. Wow, look at that, beautiful. This is very, very touchy. You don't need to make big changes on this antenna to impact it a lot. So it's just little tiny, itty bitty changes. All right, and I could probably get it a little lower than this, but I don't think it's worth even trying. So let me grab camera. I'll come back over. I want to get my bin top so we can block the sun so we're not getting a glare. So we are at a 1.053 SWR and about 48 ohms. All right, so as you can see, um, with the counterpoises set up the way I've got it now, with four counterpoises um, that equal a quarter wavelength on 40 meters, this thing tunes up super fast and it'll tune 17, 15, 12, 10. I haven't tried 80 yet. That takes a separate coil. I'll mess with that later. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to revisit this because um, this, uh, this antenna has kind of given me fits. It works good, but it was real finicky. Now with these four uh, counterpoises, like I said, they're eight feet, eight feet, two and a half inches long each. Um, it tunes up super fast. I don't have to mess with the lengths of the counterpoises. It just tunes up beautifully. I can get a beautiful SWR on every, every band. Um, and I've been playing with sending on this, just trying to hit the RBN to see what I was getting for, um, you know, uh, signal noise ratios and everything looks really good. So, like I said, if you're considering buying one of these gable antennas, it's a great little antenna. It packs up nice. Uh, it's compact. It's fairly well made. Um, and now that I've got the counterpoise situation figured out, this thing tunes up easy and fast and really nice. So, like I said, this is just sort of an addendum to the initial video I shot. Uh, hopefully this is a little informative. Uh, and like I said, man, this is for, for what this antenna costs and for how small it packs down, this thing's really hard to beat. I've had really good luck with this antenna. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, I hope this gave you a little bit of useful information and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, 7-3.